Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be doing a tool review, box opening, kind of a display of uh, how to use this thing on uh, a ProYama 5-in-1 multi-tool. Now what this is basically is a, is a weed whacker, uh, brush trimmer, pole saw, has an extension for the pole saw, and it's also a hedge trimmer. So uh, these things are about 300 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one if you're interested. I like this company. They have a they have good engines. That's what I really like about them. Okay, so it's a box, and then it has three small boxes in it. Let's go ahead and open up those boxes and see what's going on with those. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're dealing with, we've got a tri-blade for your, your brush cutter. These are, these work pretty well actually, uh, taking down like small trees, maybe like an uh, inch and a half and smaller, like really easy. Then you have a blade in here and these are usually, uh, these are much better at taking down bigger trees, like three or four inch trees or less. And uh, you can pretty much use any saw blade on these things, as long as it has the same uh, hole here. And these work really well, actually. Uh, I use these all the time to cut down like uh, sapling trees or sapling trees. Comes with a little tool bag of stuff, which is nice to have. Now these gloves and stuff they can send you, they're kind of, you know, they're okay. I, I don't really use them, but they're available. Now we have a, a string trimmer. We're gonna test this out today as well. Uh, and then extra string, which is nice. I wanna see how durable this string is. Sometimes the string is just not that good. Uh, on these type of things, you have to replace it with something a little bit better, but that's fine. This stuff is pretty cheap. And then we have a handle for our guy, and then we have our, 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 our guard. I don't really use these, but uh, they're, they're good to have and they're definitely safer to use. Okay, next is the hedge trimmer. And uh, I don't have any hedges here at my house, so I'm gonna have to take this to my work. To have to, uh, to to mess with this. Now it comes with some more accessories here. Here's the hedge trimmer, the important piece. This is for mixing your gas. Here is the hedge trimmer. And we will save this for later. Comes with a little mask, a uh, little guard for your uh, for your face, and then of course you have some uh, some EPs, and these are you know these are good to have around. And all right, next is our pole saw attachment. Uh, this is why I bought the plate, the thing. I have an electric pole saw, but I wanted to have a gas one, and uh, these are great to have around. So we gotta put the whole thing together, which is normal. So it comes with a chain, a bar, and your, your motor attachment here. We're gonna start with the chainsaw part here. So I'm just gonna kinda do it by by eye. I've never you know done this before, but these are pretty straightforward as far as uh, all these. Has a grease fitting right here, so you, you can put a little grease, greaser in there. And then, uh, okay, so when we start putting this on here, there's a little guide pin here. It's gonna extend this out. We're gonna just set it in there like that and then we're gonna slap the chain on. There we go. All right, once we're on, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. Get this 
tighten it up a little bit so it can't come out. And then right here is where we're gonna do our, our adjustment as far as tightening up our bar. So let me grab the screwdriver. So it just, you know, just it's kind of awkward because it's not long enough, but uh, the, the tool, but it works. There you go. Once you got the chain where you want it, just uh, tighten up this nut, and then we're good to go. The rest of this is uh, pretty straightforward looking. This is the end just for your uh, your weed whacker or brush cutter. And then these look like just some extensions for your pole saw. So to get it actually pretty high, which is nice. We're gonna try that out first. Or actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do the, the, the weed whacker part first. Make it easy. So it has a pin here. And that pin is gonna go in this hole right here. And then it has a, a screw here to tighten up. So let's just slide it in here. Hold the pin. Now it's in there. And just tighten it up. Okay, next we're gonna put the string trimmer on here. Now the way to do this is to remove this. Now in order to remove this, you need to, it's not gonna turn, right? It's gonna turn freely because it's a weed whacker. This is how they work. You need to get Generally the smallest Allen key or anything will work, but they, they give you Allen keys and stuff like that. And what you're gonna do is there's a hole right here on the side, okay? You're gonna turn this until it goes into the hole. So there it is, it's in that hole. All right, let me try to get a better shot at this for you. So there's a hole there, if I turn this, the hole goes away, you see it? So now that we have that, now we're going to take this off. It's going to be kind of a pain. Not really. So once it's loose, you can remove your stuff here and just do it by hand. Okay? Now keep all this stuff. This is important stuff to have. You don't want to lose that. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the string, string trimmer part and we're going to just attach it here. And it's reverse threaded, so it's going to go on opposite. And same thing, you're going to want to use your Allen key here to make a nice tight connection. So you just turn it nice and tight, and now it's on there. Now it turns freely without being loosed up. Now this is a bumper. This is for bumping the ground so you can pull the, the string will come out. But we'll test that out as well. So this is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna go outside and uh, weed whack a little bit. Okay, next we're gonna put the handle on and uh, all you gotta do is take the screws off and then put the bottom piece on and then put the screws back in. Allen keys are useless. Get your own tools and uh, put it together. It'll, it'll take a, a fraction of the time. Okay, so the fuel ratio is 50 to one. It says it right here on the side, which is nice, and nice to have it already labeled on here. Normally, if it's not labeled, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll write it on here somewhere. So I already have some gas that's 50 to one. 51's pretty common. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. Okay, so we're going to put this thing on and uh, it looks like it goes on like this, kind of weird but uh there we go yeah so it goes on like a cross like this and then uh there's going to be some kind of 
threat that, you know, one of these type styles. And you're gonna clip in right here. That's what's gonna hold all the weight up, it's gonna hold on your shoulders. So, you know, we'll uh, test this thing out, see how it goes. You're gonna have, on most of these small carbureted engines, you're gonna have a little nipple here, and you just, it's hard to see here, but it's there. And you're just gonna wanna depress that until you get gas in there. All right. Once you get gas in there, and there's gas in there, it's, uh, it's right there. Then we're just gonna start it up. Now I'll start it up over here so you can kind of see. Now there is a on off, right? On, off, or on, off. And there's your choke controller over here. So you're gonna wanna put this thing in choke and then pump it a couple times. We're going to go ahead and put uh, this blade on, this tri-blade. Also, the reason I don't put these on here, my, personally, is in my experience, I always break these. What will happen is, is I'll be rocking a blade on here and this thing will get turned and it'll just rip through here. And it happens all the time. It's happened every single time I've had a weed whacker, so I just choose not to use these. If you're using this just for a string trimmer only, this is great. But if you put a blade on here, this will get destroyed. Over time, this will loosen up and it'll turn, like I said. Blades like this, right? Uh, like that. This thing will turn and then it'll just rip it through. This is a reverse blade, so you can do it either way. It has blades on both sides. So you just take this piece off right here, set it in there, put that piece back on, put this piece on, put that on, and tighten it up. You want this really tight, you want to make sure this doesn't come loose. Alright, so this next part is really more of a, like a brush cutter application with the blade. Uh, now there's two blades, there's a tri-blade. That's more of a kind of like just hitting everything down, mainly brush. 
and it'll take down some smaller trees and then there's a, an actual saw blade and that'll take down a, a much bigger trees. Now we're just gonna test out the tri-blade right now and uh, I wanna show you kinda like what, it'll, what it can do. So yeah, it works out pretty well. As it should, you know, it takes down small to medium size, well, small trees, not medium size. And then uh, we're looking at prickers and, th you know, all those bushes type stuff, bush stuff, very easy to take down. Let's go ahead and put that uh, chainsaw on here with a pole attachment, see how tall we can get it and uh, what we can cut down. So we're gonna go ahead and hook all this stuff up and the way it's gonna hook up is this is gonna go there and then this one's gonna go into here as an extension. Now it looks like the ends are the same. No, they're not the same. So you gotta make sure you do this right. So this end's gonna go into here. And then the second one here is just to uh, tighten it up so it doesn't turn. And then now it's in there. See, I'm holding it up. It's in there. And we're just going to go ahead and tighten this thing up. good and tight. Alright, and then we're going to get the next extension piece. We're going to plug this into the, the main shaft and uh, go out there and try it out. There it is. It's in. Tighten it up. Don't forget to put bar oil in your chainsaw. The reason I bought it was for, for the pole saw application. I needed a pole saw and uh, why not get a weed whacker as well? Might as well, right? And you saw I just ripped through that 10 inches pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy that I got this thing. It's uh, 43 cc's. So we're gonna test out the head trimmer. And on this head trimmer, it has a rotating head so you can go all the way down or all the way up. And that's just for harder to reach places like higher up. All right. 
So we're gonna keep it straight right now. And I got a couple hedges here we're gonna trim up. All right, well, hey, it works pretty well for everything it does. If you guys like watching these type of videos, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.